Hi, my name is Aaron McCullough. I'm the curator of exhibits at the Springs Preserve and welcome to the Preserve's Desert Living Center. Now the Springs Preserve has what we call LEED certification. LEED certification is basically put together by the uh, architecture industry and the construction industry to kind of give us a seal of approval in terms of the most sustainable buildings. So when the Springs Preserve opened in 2007, we received platinum designation. Uh, a year later, it's the highest designation for sustainable buildings that was available at that time. And so from this point south, heading towards the gardens, it's what we commonly refer to as the Desert Living Center. And it showcases a variety of sustainable building techniques, both interior and exterior exterior that you might want to adopt in your own home living here in the desert. It really works well with surviving in the Mojave Desert. And one of the most uh, obvious uh, elements that we have here is something that we call rammed earth construction. I'm standing in front of an example of that. Now I like to refer to think of rammed earth as an early version of adobe. So traditional adobe is uh, naturally occurring sediments, a little bit of vegetation, mashed together with some water, and then you make basically mud bricks. Typical adobe home, traditional adobe home, the uh, walls are so thick that they tend to keep the heat out or in if it's winter time. Rammed earth does much the same. So I've noticed we've got some buildings at another part of the site here. Uh, during the summertime, I have put my hand on the exterior of that building. It's quite warm inside that building, and that building, by the way, did not have traditional air conditioning, I could put my hand on the inside of that wall and it was cool to the touch. So when it was 110 degrees outside, the heat of the sun didn't have a chance to penetrate all the way indoors. Nighttime, of course, when things get cooler, the heat that's on the outside kind of leaches off. And that, as it cools down, you kind of start the day anew. Similarly, during the winter time, the heat that's inside the building doesn't have a chance to leach all the way out. And the, ray, the way rammed earth is constructed is you get a box that is built to be the exact same size and shape of the wall. They add in a layer of the naturally occurring sediment, a little bit of water, and a little bit of Portland cement as the binding agent. And they add in a layer and they tamp it down. They build the box up another layer, they add another layer of, of that and then tamp it down and keep doing that. You can actually see on the wall all the various layers. Kind of think of it as stratification. Almost looks like actually the bathtub ring on Lake Mead that I know a lot of us are familiar with. And so a lot of these buildings have rammed earth, which is an early form of, a, uh, kind of a, a newer form of the traditional adobe and helps us uh, reduce our energy loads because we're using much less energy to heat and cool the buildings.